Hi everybody and welcome to Beyond Food Market podcast number 41. How's everybody doing? So guys, first three months of the year pff, disappeared just like that. I've been training since October 1st. We've been doing a lot of body work exercises in the gym, not the gym, at my house. And that's been taking up all, basically all the time. I just basically, you know what's weird is I have been on a journey of trying to start a company to bring food into underserved communities. And I don't know if it's just me like being afraid to move forward or what but I've just been I wake up I go around with the dogs I go on a bike ride I come back try to put more content up then I walk with the dogs again then I put more content then I work out then I put more content then I eat and I go live and that's just been what's happening it's like um it's like groundhog day it's just the same thing over and over and over and I'm just like and a little piece of me wants to move forward I want to like step forward and then a little piece of me is like, you know, just relax, just breathe. There's something in Zen where it's called, I forgot what it's called, but it's don't force it. Don't force it, let it come, let it become, let it flourish, let it just come naturally. So a little piece of me is always kind of like trying to fight against that. And yeah, it is what it is. So let's get started and get you filled into what's been happening lately with me and Beyond Food Market. This is the podcast of a guy. Chasing a dream from a fucking idea. I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I swear a lot because when I was a kid, I came to America when I was four and a half years old and I only knew Spanish. And one of my first friends was, I don't see his name, but he was one of my first friends and he swore. And I literally have been swearing since I was freaking like four and a half, five years old. Whenever I moved, that's whenever I moved. Whenever, anyway, so that's just part of my vernacular, it's part of who I am. But I do spread kindness and love. And so that's where we are today. Let's get going. All right. So the year, the first year started, the year started. Oh, good news. My mentor, David Meltzer, you know how last time we had manifested going on the show. So we manifested the show. And then I kept on manifesting more stuff with him. And I manifested a TikTok live video. He introduced, he, he said, hey, Jose, I see you follow me uh, on TikTok. Would you like to do a live with me? And I said, yeah, I would love to. And you know what really helped is building up our platform. You know, I got about 160 plus, 160K followers now. And if you've been following us for a long time, we started with zero. Do you guys remember? So, so I think that helped me also. I was able to leverage that to do a TikTok live with my mentor, Dave Meltzer. How cool is that? We had also, I think I showed it to you last time on the podcast with my book. We also manifested this also going on TikTok. So it's so cool about this manifestation. I'm really working on manifestation. As a matter of fact, it's really what's been really focusing on lately is just manifesting. But let's get back to the three months. So that was really cool. That was one of the first things that was really dope of the first year. And also my mentor, David Goggins. You know, David Goggins is my physical mentor. He's just... It's a different level kind of guy and he has really helped me elevate my mind state my mindset and i commented on one of my stories i tag him on a few of my stories and this was the third one that he's has been like stay hard like i think it's so cool you might not be a lot you know but i'm i make content so when people say it and i have to like type it out and send it you know it's kind of like i can see like it's really cool that he did that so it's the third time so i was really stoked and it's just really changing my mindset to be ready to just keep moving forward with this, uh, even though I don't know what I'm doing. But it's okay. I just, I just keep, I just keep, I just keep pressing forward. I keep listening to my mentor, Gary Vaynerchuk. Post more content. What's going on? Post more content. You don't know what you're doing? Post more content. So I just keep posting more content and see what happens. You know, every time I've been on these TikToks, like I'll get like a certain amount of files. I was like. At 90,000, then at 100,000, then I was at 110, and then I was like 125, 130, 140, 150, and then I hit 160. And that's taken a while, but every time I get to a number, I'm just like, I start lagging, going down, and I'm like, oh my God, I get kind of nervous. I, I guess I get nervous. I'm just like, oh my God, my, my, my channel is going down. <laughs> but I just keep going and growing and growing and growing. So I've got to just stay the path and I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to get better. Dude, bro, I've been working so hard and trying to get better, trying to become a better storyteller. That's literally all I've been doing. I literally just like study TikTok. I guess I do study it really because I'm just focusing on like, 
Okay, how's the content? What, what's the hook? What's the, I don't really do hooks, but I kind of see how things are, how they film it, what they do. I was like, oh, interesting. So I think I'm becoming a better content creator, a better storyteller. Forager Project, they reached out to me and they said, Jose, we saw you tag us on one of your Instagram posts. Can we use your Instagram posts for our Instagram posts? I'm like, yeah, go for it. And I'm like, by the way, I've got 160K followers on TikTok. Why don't you send me some product? And they're like, oh, okay. And they sent me a big box. I recorded it. I put it on LinkedIn. It was pretty dope. And then I did this Lotus Foods. I was eating a bunch of Lotus Food stuff. They reached out to me and they're like, Jose, would you do a video for us? I'm like, yes. No, no. first they're like, Jose, we know you love our stuff. We're going to send you some stuff. They sent me some stuff. I was like, whoa. I had a whole big stuff. I didn't put a LinkedIn video, but I did one for TikTok. And then, it, then they're like, then later on, they're like, hey, would you do a video for us? I'm like, yes. That was our first paid gig. Our first paid gig, guys. We got our first paid gig this year. Yeah. After three fucking years on TikTok, we got our first paid gig. <laughs> Dude, I literally feel like I'm crawling, but it's okay. I'm getting, I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right, I'm doing okay. And so again, guys, I'm just trying to start a company from an idea. And I just listened to my mentor, Gary Vaynerchuk. He said, go on TikTok, go on LinkedIn and, and just start documenting the journey. And I do, I record everything that post production Bro, it's another beast. Like I have so much content. I got I got fucking like four terabytes of fucking media for over the past three. It's like one terabyte every year of like content that I just will never see the light of day. I've got some good stuff too, some good recipes. But it's just I can't post produce. Like this right here, this video right here, this blog, I've got to once it's done, I've got to go through it, edit it out put some music if I want music, then I've got to post it up, make some backgrounds. You know, that's like, that's like, and then I got to watch the whole video. So that's seven minutes plus the, so we're left talking three, four, five hours. And then I got, cause then I got to strip the audio, then post the audio to the podcast, put it to the YouTube, then I got to do an IG. So, I mean, it's just, um, I just got to get better. I've just got to get better. That's what I keep focusing on. Trying to get better, trying to produce more content. Trying to produce more content. And that's what I've been working on. Just trying to produce more content. And again, I'm, I've been doing so much con Guys, I literally have just been like, hey, like, I, you know, I, I was thinking about the other day, I was like, Jose, you literally have just been like head fucking down pushing content. Like, I'm just like, I gotta content, I gotta push content out. I put content out. And if you guys know, um, of like last summer, I had discovered from, cause I've seen so many ADHD videos. I'm like, oh my God, that's me. So I have a, what I call a self-diagnosed ADHD, which I'm a hundred percent guaranteed, fucking 100% no positive that that's how my mind works. And it's okay because it's just how some people's brains work. What are you gonna do? But then I also learned that some CEOs associate with ADHD. So that's a good thing, right? I think for me it is. I'm gonna look at it positively. So let's continue. All our all our channels are growing. I, my Discord's growing. I've got over a hundred, almost two hundred people on our Discord. I've got our 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 YouTube video. Our YouTube. Oh, hey guys, YouTube. If you're just following me, I have an idea to bring food into underserved communities of Chicago, specifically areas known as food deserts. So we've gained. We got over three hundred on YouTube. Now I know you're probably like, that's not a lot. But for me, on YouTube, that's fuck. You know what's crazy? I've got all these fucking followers on TikTok, all these people that watch it, and I, I still have a, I, I've got to figure out how to leverage this fucking TikTok, y'all. It's just gold. I, I, I've got, I've got to, I've got to learn to leverage it, man. Guys, I'm just, a, I was a regular fucking dude, 50, 40, Eight year old, let's see, how was it? Four years ago, 46, 46 year old guy that had an idea. Quit my job. And here I am, like, I'm just fortunate enough that my family has been able to support me. It's running really thin now, but <laughs> I just, I just know this is gonna happen. I know I'm gonna help people do this. I feel it. So I continue on this journey 
I don't know how it's gonna happen. It's one of the things I've been focusing on now is doing manifestation. Understanding that I can manifest this. I'm not gonna chase anymore. Like I was always like, if you watch all these podcasts, you notice I'm always like trying to chase, trying to chase, trying to chase. And even now, put them content, put them content, because that's me trying to chase, 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 chase. And I've got a, I've listened to Abraham Hicks for like, <sighs> legit bro, like every day for like a year and a half. Man, it was, it's been like crazy how, how long I just, every day in my head. And she talks about manifestation or aligning, getting to the vortex. And that's literally what I've been doing. And I'm going to, I'm going to start doing that instead of chasing a physical, like making it happen and just start aligning myself and attracting it to come to me. And I know it sounds kind of like crazy, like what the fuck are you doing? I know it's kind of crazy to me saying that, but all these mentors are like, you know, just become the magnet attracted to you. So I've got to attract this to me. How it's going to happen? I don't fucking know, but I'm going to give it a shot. And so I'm going to start attracting that. Oh guys, I'm starting to get a suntan. I'm starting to get a suntan. You see that? I'm starting to get a suntan. It's going to be coming in soon. Oh, and I've been working out for six months. I think I told you that. Bam. Look at that. Feeling pretty good about that. Am I the fittest 50 year old? No, but I feel good about where I am. Uh, I guess that's going to be our, our podcast. Let's recap. So my mentor, David Meltzer, he always talks about asking questions, reaching out to people. Do you know anybody that can help me? How can I be of service to you? Ask somebody that's in their, in a position where you want to be, ask them. If they're there, ask that person how they got there. And he's always like, humble yourself. Just ask, just ask. And I'm like, every time I'm like, he, I watch him, I'm like, man, should I fucking ask him? But I'm like, what? I mean, how's he going to help me? Can he fucking help me? I don't know if he can help me. So, or if that's just me giant delusional, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I might reach out to him. But I reached out to an NBA player to see if he can do something. And we'll go from there. So this is podcast 41. Again, guys, I, I just, I when I come on these podcasts, I kind of just, the year started off amazing. I've kind of been like in the back burner of like limbo. Like, what am I doing? Do I keep making content? How am I chasing? What do I got to do? What's my next fucking step? What's my next step? Like, I was listening to somebody the other day. Um, one of my mentors and they're like just somebody that i listen to and they're like the before you can do anything you first have to know where you are where are you now and i'm like i don't fucking know and then you have to have a goal a vision of what you want and i'm like what's my vision what do i want i want to bring food into ownership community i want to help people through food shoot by shoot from the hip and and just try to tell you what's been going on with my life and i hope i got everything accomplished that i wanted to get accomplished shifting my mentality to attract we've done a lot been posting up content got our first gig working out now i'm just gonna keep moving forward and i think i, gotta, I got i have to start leveraging our tiktok so that's kind of what i'm gonna start trying to figure out how i'm gonna start leveraging the tiktok what can we do for that so so that's gonna be our podcast keep on watching the journey of a guy trying to start an idea to bring food into ownership communities of chicago using specifically food deserts using our patent pending cashless vending unit. So guys, thank you so much for watching. We will see you soon. Follow us on every social media platform at Beyond Food Market. Peace and love.